Taking care of somebody with dementia can be very challenging. And a lot of caregivers just go and go and go and don't ever take care of themselves. So what's really important is that if you're taking care of somebody with dementia, if you don't take care of yourself, you're gonna end up being sick and then who's gonna be able to do it? So it's really important to take care of yourself. You're gonna feel overwhelmed, you're gonna probably feel angry, you may feel resentful, and that's really, really normal to feel that way. And it's okay. So the, best, the most important thing to do is to take time for yourself. And I know you're thinking, oh my goodness, how can I do that? I can't leave them alone, I've got this to do, I've got a house to maintain, how am I supposed to take time for, my, for myself? So one of the things I encourage people to do is ask for help, right? Do you have children? Do you have a neighbor? Do you have somebody who has offered? How often do people say, oh, let me help you? Oh, no, no, that's okay, I got it. My mother is huge for that. Oh, no, I'll take care of it. And then she's exhausted. She won't, um, you know, it's very rare that she will accept help from somebody, somebody else. If you're taking care of somebody with dementia, it's 24-7. They need to be watched all the time. You need to help them. It's stressful. You're going to have a lot going on. So take a break. Be willing to take a break. Even if somebody comes at the house and you go take a nap. I mean, that's fine. You need to take a break. Um, hire a caregiver if you have the ability to do that. So there's funding through the county sometimes, even just for a couple of hours a week. Let somebody else do that. Maybe you can hire somebody to do some of the more challenging things, like giving a bath, doing things that maybe are, are not as uh, pleasant, right? Be the spouse for once. You know, right now you're the caregiver and not their spouse. Well, take an opportunity to actually be the spouse and not the caregiver. Um, it's very emotional to watch somebody become more confused. So recognize how you're feeling. Accept those feelings and emotions. They're okay. See if you can find somebody who understands, who's been through it, who can really sympathize so that you can talk to them and not feel like you're going to be judged, right? Being, saying something that might sound really horrible to somebody else about how you feel about your spouse who has dementia is going to be what somebody else will completely understand and you need somebody that's going to understand so that you can let that out and you can feel comfortable being able to say that and not being judged. Another thing to do is really educate yourself about the disease. If it's not someone that you've known uh, your whole life, learn their past. Understanding their past is really the most important thing. Educate yourself about what to do, how to do it. There's support groups. The Alzheimer's Association has a great website. You can go there and get all kinds of information. Um, try not to take things personally. They're gonna hit you. They might yell at you. They might say things to you that are really not very kind, but it's really not against you. It's a part of the brain disease, and this is just their reaction to what they're experiencing. So trying to be patient and not take things personally is important. Easier said than done, but it is something that's really important. And I think one of the other things that's really important is to just don't sweat the small stuff. Does it matter if they have on mismatched socks when you go to the store? Probably not. It's probably worse to try to get them to change them than it is to have them wear them. Um, if you go out to eat, is it a problem if they want to eat their green beans with their fingers? Yeah, maybe it's not socially appropriate, but it's not a big deal, right? So kind of when there's certain things that you can let go, let go of what you can. It's hard when you try to think of what is everybody else thinking, but you know, at some point you, you just ha sort of have to let some of those things go. Um, you can reduce your stress and their stress by not sweating the small stuff, and that's the most important thing. So take care of yourself, give yourself a break, recognize that you're not perfect, you're gonna get angry. If you yell at them, you're gonna feel guilty about it, but you're stressed. So, you know, it's, it's they're not gonna remember it anyway. So, you know, it's okay to do that. So give yourself a break, let somebody else try to help you, um, and take some time for yourself.